Hello there, uh, this is John Walsh from Waterford Mai Thai. I've been asked to do a series of five 30 minute videos for the Creative Water Group. And what we're going to do, I'll just talk first about what we do here. Um, our martial art originated from Thailand over a thousand years ago and it's known as the art of the eight limbs. I uh, mean, you use your two feet, two elbows, two knees, um, two hands, okay, so and feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little warm up first, and then we're going to go into a little session. And the session is going to kind of, it's going to take the sections. There'll be thirty seconds doing the technique, normal pace or slow, and then there'll be fifteen seconds of going as fast as you can, or whatever pace you want to make it. And then we'll do a little thirty second cardio, maybe jogging on the spot for the rest of it, okay? So then we move on to a different technique the whole time. So it's just, you just take this at your own pace. Today we're going to focus more on punches. Um, the next, in the, in, we'll cover the knees, the elbows and the kicks as well and then we'll put them all together uh, in a final video on the last day, the fifth, fifth video. So just t take everything at your own pace, you know? So any walks of life, any age groups can do this from kids from four years of age, and we even have a man training with us, and he's 68. So there's no problem doing this at all. Just take it at your own pace, as long as you're fit and you're healthy and everything is okay with you. Okay, so we start with our warm-up first, okay? And we're just gonna do a general warm-up. Okay, this way and then the opposite way. Loosen up the body, that's all. Bring it down. Okay. Okay, I'll just rotate the ankles. Just loosen them up a little bit. And the opposite one. Okay, we'll just do some leg switches, so hands up and just swing the leg in the air. Nice and easy. More roughly 10. A little bit higher each time. Switch legs. Nice and easy to start off. Let's start getting a little bit. Chain. Change again. And change again. Okay, relax for a little bit. Rotate the wrists. Okay, after an hour warm is pretty much done, and we'll just get into it, it's, it's going to be all shadow boxing. So, okay, once our warm up is done, now we'll, we'll look at our fight stance. So I'm going to go turn side on to you, so you're going to have a look, a look at the way my fight stance is. So you bend your knees, so you're balanced between the two legs, you know, more so over on one, or back on the other, okay? You fall, you're like, it's forward and back to that. Hands are up like this, elbows are in or press forward, and you're engaging your back, not just holding yourself up with the shoulders. So engage your back and strong and gather up here. So your hands are here. If you're right handed, you're standing with your left leg in front and your left hand in front, like this, okay? But your chin is down, 
and your hands are protecting the other side of your head. Your hands are up here, chin is down, shoulders nice and strong like this. Your biggest weapon, your greatest weapon is your brain. So if, you, if your head is in the air, your hands are down, and you get hit in the face, you won't be focused, you lose, you, you, you lose consciousness, and then you're in trouble. Okay, so your guard is up all the time, covering. So when you're going to throw a punch, if you're left-handed, you will stand the opposite way. You will stand right leg in front. Okay, kind of up off your heels, up on the balls of your feet, and your right hand is in front. Okay, like that, left hand here. Your strong punch is going to be your left hand if you're left handed. So let's call it cross, crossing over the body. So it's going to be strong. But I'm right handed, so my strong punch is my right hand. So it's coming back from here, going forward. So we're going to go left leg front, left hand in front, and punch out. So when you punch out, you're turning your fist like this, like you're pouring, you're holding a jug of water, and as you're just extending your arm out fully, you're extending the, the jug, you're pouring it out fully emptying it, okay? Your shoulder rotates and comes in to cover your chin, like this, and your hand is up here. So hand it up, one, like that. Shoulder nice and high, protecting your chin and your side of your head as much as you can, and the hand is on this side. If you're throwing a right hand, same again. Shoulder nice and high, head down, protect your head as much as you can. So like that, okay? So guard up. Throw it out, again, tilting of the hand, pour out the jug of water, empty. Shoulder up high, hand nice and high here, okay? You can't have it too high, because you're exposing the oil inside of your body. But you have it tucked in, your head down, and protect yourself the best you can. So if you're throwing two punches, it's punch and punch like that. So one and two. Guard up, one. Shoulder up, two. Shoulder up. Guard up. One, two, like that. You're balanced between the two legs all the time. One and two. Okay? So this is for beginners, this is beginner friendly. If you've never done it before, it's perfect. This you'd be slightly in variations from different coaches, but this is basically what you need. You're up off your heels, balance between your two knees, body weight good, and you're like that and punches. So one and two. That's exactly what we're going to do. We start off, it's going to be 30 seconds of nice slow punches, and then we'll do 15 seconds as fast as you can, and we'll break it down now, we'll show you the hooks, and we'll show you uppercuts, the same way with the guard up again, okay? Okay, to start off our little workout, oh, I have a remote control just going to set the timer in a second, we're going to just do left punch only, okay? So, left punch only, guard comes back to the side of your head, so the biggest mistake people make is when the guard is dropping down, so it comes back here, or people drop it and then throw it. So the whole thing is one line, straight out and back to the side of your head. Just nice and simple, not down. Not down and back up. Not down and back up. So it's out, back, out, back, okay? Not down, okay? So we started off there now, we're gonna do 30 seconds of left punch only. If you're right-handed, do left punch only. If you're left-handed, do the right punch only. So whatever suits, okay? Uh, we start off there with 30 seconds of slow punching and then 15 seconds of fast punching and then we'll do a little one just jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. Nice and simple. Okay, we start our clock there now. Okay, so guard up again. So we're going to start, ready, for 30 seconds. Just practice your technique. You can do it in front of the mirror as well. Elbow tucked in. Elbow tucked in. You know? Like that. The back is rounded. Hands are up, elbows in. We're on our last 10 seconds now. How's everyone going? Good. Elbow in. Straight. And just go as fast as you can or where you want to go. Okay, so with this one, we're going to go faster now for 15 seconds. Okay, faster. Five seconds to go. Come on, everyone. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. On the spot now, just jogging on the spot. Just keep jogging. jogging. Nice and easy. Guard up. Just lift those knees. This is simple. But get your heart rate going. Get 
and out and out. Ready and okay. This time, this time it's right hand only. So coming from back here, so it's your power punch. So straight punch again, hand coming back, elbow tucking in, not coming back like this, and not coming back like that. Okay, go so straight out. Balance between the two legs. Straight out. Twist the body. Twist. Like that. Twist. Can you see there? Twist. Five seconds to go. Twist. Now, faster. That's it. And jog. Start off again. It's just all basic exercise for the start. Stuff everyone can do. This is simple. Five seconds to go. Okay, we're gonna go back out again. There were two straight punches. This time we're gonna go from a left hook where it comes across like that. Some people like hooking like this. I prefer hooking like this, okay? So again, hook. Now your, your power comes from the floor. That's why we bend our legs, bend the knees. If you have your legs straight, the power will not transfer and come up your body. Your body needs to be slightly bent like this, the knees bent, so hook like this, straight across. Straight across. Pretty much your elbow, the same level as your wrist. You don't hook like that, okay? Or you don't hook like that. Okay, so straight across gives you more power. Straight across and back. But obviously, you don't drop it too much. Look straight across and back, one, like this. Straight across. Hand comes back to the side of your head again. Elbows tucked in, pivot on the foot. Like that. Hand always back. Don't go like this. Back in, one. Like that, okay? Everyone getting that? We start now on our time, okay? okay. Well, we're going to start with 30 seconds of that punch again. Nice and slow at the start. Ready, everyone? Guard up. Nice and easy. Go at your own pace. There's a big wide hook, or there's a short hook, and you get in close. It's like after a combination of straight punches, a short little hook, or a long one, out on its own, like that. Short hook after a combo, long hook on its own. We're gonna go faster now, ready? Faster. And jogging. Should be getting your heart rate up well. You can always watch the videos again, go a little faster next time if you want to. I say keep going. Okay, this time we're doing the right hook. So it's from the back leg again. Back leg pivots this time. Transferring the power. Knees bent again. Hands back up as fast as you can to protect yourself. Do not look at it. See the good work you're after doing this. Whoa, yes. <laughs> Drop your hands. Keep your hands up. That's it, nice and easy like that, okay? So you pivot, the hip turns. First off the ankle. Pivot on the body foot, ankle goes, knee goes, hip goes. No upper body follows. That's where you get your power. Your technique. Every transfer is the power. Okay, so the time to now. Ready? Okay, everyone, ready? We've got the right, right hook then for 30 seconds. Ready? On our bell, and let's go. Long hook, short hook. Long. Short. 
pivot. Pivot. Don't forget to pivot on the foot. Hands back up all the time. Nice and easy. Elbow, same level as the wrist. Every time. Right across. Pivot. Pivot. Long hook. Now, faster. Keep going, keep going, and jog in here, let's go. That's brilliant, so far went up. Next one then is your uppercut up the lead leg, your front leg, be it your right or your left, whichever one would you use your, your left hand or right hand. So you do not do this, like a lot of people would try. You're exposing your side of your head, coming up like this. Okay, so your hand, you keep it as good as you can, you guard up and up like that. Pivot with the knee, ankle, hip, and roll the way up there. So ankle, knee, hip, and upper body, elbow and fist. Ready? So, oh, like that. always aim for a little bit above the head. You could just go to here, but stopping, stopping with that, so don't. So go all the way through, all the way through. Oh my God. Right up underneath the chin. That's what you're aiming for. Like that. Elbow, like this, directly in line with your wrist. Not this way, or not that way. Up. There's also angles to come in at. You can come different angles, but this one, we're straight up underneath. Straight up underneath, okay? Are we ready to give that a try? 30 seconds coming up. Okay, 30 seconds at your own pace. Hands comes back to the side of your head again every time. You can go slow, get it right. You can look in the mirror doing it. The phone in front of the mirror as you do it. Or you can do it faster, whatever suits. Last five seconds. Head down. Okay, faster. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Nice and fast. Okay, now. Jog in the spot. Let's go again. 30 seconds. Seconds to go. Okay, now we'll do the uppercut off the right and your back leg or your left hand, whichever one's the back foot or back hand. So straight up again, directly in line like that, like that. That's a different type of uppercut. So today we're just doing straight underneath. Got our back. That's it. Take everything at your own pace. If you feel this is a bit too much for you, go easier. There's no, you're not in a race or not a competition with anybody else. Quite like that, okay? Okay, from, remember to pivot from the foot again. So we're gonna go up across 30 seconds. If you find this is easy, you can go harder. Pivot from the foot again. Everything comes from the floor. Bend the knees, all the way up. Guard up all the time. Get the hip into it. Bend the knees. All the way up, ready? Five seconds, we start again. Faster. Let it go. Slower, 
Or you can go faster, whatever you want, at the same pace. It's a really good workout. And today is all focused on punches only. Last five. Now, we're going to, now we've gone through all the base, the six punches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do two punches, two straight punches. So left and right, just like this. One and two. Gather up all the time. One and two. Keep it nice and simple. Straight out, straight out. Like that. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay? One, two. Just simple punches. But the hands must come up here, not like that. Okay? Don't want to see that. Let's see. One, two. One, two. One, two. And guard up. Okay? We set the timer. Okay, everyone. We're going to do two straight punches together now. Ready? And go. 30 seconds. Just straight punches. One, two. Look at pause in between the two of them. One, two. And we can do no pause then on the 15 seconds faster. Okay? Just hands up. Shoulders tucked in by the side of your head as you're doing it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Guard up all the time. That's it. Ready? And go fast. So non stop now. Chin down on your chest. Shoulders come in, touch the side of your face. Hands out straight, come back to the side of your head. Go. And jump. That's it. Hands up. That's it, keep going. Keep going. Five seconds. Now we're going to go on to the hooks. We're going to put the two hooks together. One and two and back pause again. Back into fight stance. One, two and back. One, two and back. One, two and back. One, two. Pivot in the front. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay? Let's go with our 30 seconds. One, two. Two like that. One, two. One, two. Do a little pause. Get it perfect, get it right as well. best you can. Only starting out doing it. If you're experienced, it's always good to check your technique. Okay, let's go faster. Hands back up to the side of your head. Let's go. That's it. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, that's it. Come on. Now jogging on the spot again. Well done, everyone. Keep going, keep going. Nearly at the end of our workout. Keep going. Five seconds. Okay, next one. We're just doing two uppercuts on the left and right. Or whatever way your fight stance is. One, two. Let's go. Ready? 30 seconds. That's it. Guard up. Guard up. Go as fast as you can or as slow as you can. It's the slow part. Get it right. Good. Keep going. And faster. Go. Faster. Come on. Keep the hands up. Don't be dropping them for the uppercut. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. And jog. Let's go. You're doing great. You don't have to do the jog. On the 30 seconds, you can have that as a little rest if you want. If you're beginners. You might need rest, you're danced, you might not need them. Keep going. 
going. That's it. Three, two, one. Now we've got all those punches. We're going to string them all together in a six punch combination. Okay, so it's going to look like two punches straight, two hooks, two uppercuts. So it's always left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. That's still a combination. You, you know, it's harder to do two of the same side. It's much more advanced, so it's easier to go one and then the other side. So we'll start off with two straights, two hooks, and two uppercuts. Okay, two straights. Two hooks and two uppercuts. And I hope I don't make a mistake. Three combos. One, two, three, four, six, like that. Ready? Two. Make a mistake, don't worry. I probably will. That's it, keep it going. Eight seconds to go. I'm going to go fast in for 15. Oh, I lost it there. Mm. Now let's go. Are we on the spot? Well done, everyone. So, last of the combinations now. So after this jog, just do a little light stretching on the ground. Nothing too advanced, sit on the ground, a minute or two. That's all it's going to be. Nice and easy, starting off for everybody. Keep your jog going, let's go. Hands up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay everyone, that's pretty much our workout done. Sit down on the ground, relax, get a quick drink of water. If you need a drink of water at any time during the session as well, you can take a quick drink. There's no problem, always drink your water. It's really good. So what we're going to focus on now is just the static stretching at the end of a class. Even though we haven't done any kicks today, we will be doing kicks during the week, we would always stretch out at the end of a class, but our, our class is compiled of lots of different things. There's clinch work, there's fighting on the outside, there's our fitness classes, which are 90% of our gym. Um, and we always do the stretches at the end, so always focus on your stretching. Dynamic stretches at the start, and then static stretches at the end, okay, when the muscles are warmed up. You get a better stretch at the end of the class when you're using static, just sitting down and holding the stretch for a period of time, rather than at the start of the class, you don't do that, it's not as beneficial, you just up and down with your leg, leg raises that I did, swings up and down, and that's kind of dynamic with you pulling the elastic a little bit every time. That's more beneficial and better performance wise at the start of your class. Okay, so just stretch it. Stretch, we're using all shoulders and arms today. Grab and pull, okay. And the other one, stretch and stretch again. Okay. And behind, stretch, straighten out, stretch. That's it, and front, pull across. Forearms. You have a lot of forearm work as well. You don't even realize it's a good stretch on the forearms every time. Okay, I put some weight. This it's not really needed today because we have another kicks, but this would be a typical just warm down class. This would be beginner stuff, but we would do more advanced stuff then in the class as well. But just over and back of the hands, just touch, touch the toes. Lean the body forward. Again, it's a little stretch over. You want to the dynamic which you're on the floor. It's just, it is static as you're holding. We're going to hold it in a minute. It's over and back. Okay? I'm going to show you a really good hip stretch as well. I'll show you that in a second. So then two hands down. This is the static part of the stretch. Hold. Two hands on your foot. Two hands on the opposite foot. Hold. Okay? We would do that for a number of minutes, and then feet together, hold again, two hands touching your toes, okay, and then, good hip stretch for everyone, hip mobility is really, really important for all age groups, so have the sole of your foot hitting your thigh, and, and this way, so from here, 
Use your hands starting off over and back. That's all you're doing, okay? Over and back. Over and back like that. Okay? You get more advanced, you come up on the knees, back down, other side, up on the knees. Okay, take that step further and go up, up into a lunge. But this is a really good hip mobility stretch. You can do this one at the start of the class as well, or the end. Okay? That will be just a typical class we would do. And just thanks everyone, that was all punches today. Tomorrow we're going to focus on, we'll mix up a bit of knees in with the punches. So punches are our baseline, we do punches with everything. So punches, the knees, punches, kicks, punches, elbows. Okay everybody, thanks for the class, hope you enjoyed it, see you again for the next one.